Adams while looking at a cold Sam Adams because he's buried across the street oh, in the Grand Reburying Ground. Now listen, escucha me. If you are dead and you are in Boston, this is where you want to be. This is the Studio 54 of dead people in our city. I'm not lying. Three signers of the Declaration of Independence are in here. Wow. Sam Adams, Robert Treat Payne, and John Hancock. Paul Revere's buried. Did you your walk to the Freedom Trail in Boston? Did you guys do that today? Yesterday. Did you guys do the whole two and a half miles? No. No, you stopped at Daniel Hall over there? Yeah, that's like half of it people do, but it's, it's a long time. It starts right there. Two and a half mile walking tour. A lot of historical sites there, wasn't it? The Boston Public Garden. It is the uh, oldest, or one of the oldest public botanical gardens in the United States. Has, have any of you ever read the suspense novel, Make Way for Ducklings by Robert McCloskey? Yeah, if you come up on your right, you'll see a white awning sticking out. And this is Cheers. This is the original Cheers where they did all the outside shots of the show Cheers. A lot of people are worried that Cheers is closing, but it is not. The other Cheers in Faneuil Hall that they built just as like a tourist place is closing. This one is you still left. Normally, you know, we got to speed through this intersection, but uh, take a look over to your left here. It's like a postcard. Beautiful view of the city of Boston, framed by the gates of the public garden. Who's that guy on the horse? I know you see the horse, you think Paul Revere, but look at the cheekbones. George Washington. Yeah, you, you can't miss those famous Washington cheekbones. Six foot two in cheekbones for days, that guy. Yeah, that was his campaign slogan. Now, that's beautiful. It's not too shabby looking off to your right either. Looking down Commonwealth Avenue or Com Avenue. Give these people a quack. Super size. Quack, quack. And then on your right, you can see the front of the Trinity Church. Isn't that beautiful. something else? It's got a farmer's market here every Tuesday and Friday. I love it juxtaposed next to the Hancock Tower. Did I just say juxtapose? Whoa. I think I'm done. The state capital still in use in our country today. The cornerstone laid in 1795 by Sam Adams and Paul Revere. And that gold on the dome is real. 13 pounds of 23 and a half carat gold leaf. We'll get a nice view of it from the water. Now if you want to go in the state house, you can't use the front door. Only the governor can use it. The Fresh Family Skate Park. And I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. But right now though, do you guys want to go in the water? Okay, now let's talk safety for a moment. Gino! Nice, dude. That was good stuff. Very smooth. All day long, Gino. Doing great. Now, as we go into this little bridge here, do Gino and I a favor. And please pay no attention to all the different colored paint on the wood to your left. We're going to be seeing some beautiful birds out here right now. We've got a lot of Canada geese in front of us. You'll see some ducks. Uh, it's beautiful right now. And look at how beautiful the Glamour Slammer looks from the water too. Isn't that great? You guys think that jail looks nice on the outside? You should see the view from the inside. It's hotels in Boston. It's called the Liberty Hotel, which is a great name for a hotel that used to be a jail. Now, as far as the guest rooms are concerned, you don't stay in jail cells. They did convert a few to make, I think they have like 10 guest rooms in the original jail building. But see the brown tall building just next to it? That's where the guest rooms are. So it's a luxury. A lot of people also think we call them ducks because it's like a cute name for something that goes on land and water. But that also is not the case. We call them ducks because the technical name of this vehicle is a D-U-K-W. That's what this is called. Said so just like that, four letters. D-U-K-W. Now when the soldiers in World War II saw that though, of course they just started calling them ducks. Now the reason for these weird four letters is that all the vehicles that General Motors made during World War II, they didn't give them model numbers. They wanted to give them something that would indicate certain technical aspects of the vehicle. Does anybody here know who the Leonard Sinkum Bridge was named after? So there go the front wheels. Now the back is still floating. The front wheels are pulling us up. And then there go the back wheels. Then Gino turns off the propeller. He turns the headlights back on. He put, turns off the four-wheel drive. Guys, give Gino a big round of applause. Let me tell you something. I know Gino just made all that look really easy. It's not easy, though.